because of this, uh, this uh, the theme of this event is uh, being sm uh, everything is for the smart networking. Uh, so the uh, government role in this sense is extremely important. We are very happy to get together with this all you know, the government, government officers to address of this subject. Uh, being smart is needed of the engagement from the citizens and uh, even not only from the central government, but local, uh, local administration like cities or communities is extremely important. So that is, uh, I think, is a major reason and we discuss about how this is a government roles to support or to encourage of that, you know, being smart. So that was uh, one of major discussions and all we agreed that uh, government roles as uh, providing the openness and the transparency is extremely important the subject. Still, we have many challenges, but we have to continue this, uh, you know, this process. Uh, there's no doubt at all. We always, now uh, today is really uh, the time for this uh, more close partnerships with uh, not only from the public side, but also a private side. But I believe it's, uh, this uh, the role should be the balance between public and the uh, private uh, domains. We have to carefully look at how we can arrange of these uh, roles and the balance of this uh, loading of this balance. This is uh, getting my important part. Uh, like a uh, uh, private side is very important elements for investigation, uh, invest, investment, and uh, also building of these old infrastructures. But also the uh, public side, their role is also very, very important. Not only encourage the public, uh, private side, also make of this uh, society community is resilient and safe enough. Without that uh, directions of this public side might be very challenging of a private investment as well. Because society, community should be safe enough. That is a uh, guarantees um, a more safe guidance of this private investment. So this would be my observation as we have to more carefully how to harmonize this between public and private. Yeah, 2018 is very challenging uh, moment for us. Even ITU itself, we are heading of this uh, planning potential conference. It's the highest uh, conference for defining our convention and the constitution. So extremely important. But also from the uh, ICT development point of view, 2018 is the uh, time to make of this all this infrastructure is a uh, uh, more advanced world like. Uh, uh, we may see of this first uh, trials of this 5G and IoT getting more popularized and digital financial service is very strongly impacted towards even this uh, digital, uh, distributed ledger technologies like a blockchain is coming to this ICT telecom domains. All this development is heavily impacted for us and uh, with that uh, if we can successfully range of this with the UN agents of this ITU, all those uh, techno technology evolutions and the uh, society movement will have a, uh, provide us a good contributions for the next milestone of our communities. So 2018 become very, very essential and important year for us. Uh, Big challenge is 5G is in any sense, this technology always comes to us. This issue is not only for the timing issue. The problem, uh, the main issue for me is all stakeholders, they are ready. For me, the readiness is now an extremely important subject now. Not only from the uh, uh, vendors or uh, manufacturer side, operators, we have to think about they are really ready. This infra uh, investment of this 5G infrastructure is good enough for them, or even this is good for the, our citizens who have uh, really utilized of this 5G or this all these IoTs, many autonomous uh, features which be guaranteed uh, promised by 5G services. 
all citizens are ready, or even our communities and governments and public societies, they are ready to adopt of this. So it's a good time to, we have to look at over this overall landscape, all these new technologies like a 5G evolution, will be ready, uh, we are ensure this readiness of all stakeholders. It's a good subject.